Welcome everybody to Funeral Nation episode 240, the first episode of the year 2022. That's Jeff, the funeral commander Harbison. I'm Ryan Thogmartin. And almost seven years later, this is still the only weekly funeral news show on the planet that anybody listens to or watches. It is. And uh, we still have quite the following that's uh, along with us. And I was watching some old videos or some old shows. In fact, number 59, where we were tra transitioning from 16 into 17 back then. Uh, you are now a very spelt, thin, healthy looking guy. Um, my difference is I've got a little more facial hair and I've started putting this white stuff up here to look mature. It's the you trend know? out West. You know, it's the trend. It's a, yeah. Uh, it, it, the sun hits it and it just changed things, but it was awesome to watch that. And, you know, Ryan, if you think about it, 2015, this year will be seven years. And I don't know what's been sustained that long in the media part of our business we're the ogs the ogs you know, we're, man we're we're the ones that started all this stuff with uh, now they've got podcasts and shows and all these sort of things but uh the funeral nation and i continues to share information to have impact and uh we actually make a difference uh heck we were in washington this summer right yeah we were and you know what like it's 2022, and so this would be typically the, the episode where we, like, make predictions for the next year, and we both decided, like, <laughs> I ain't guessing what's going to happen. <laughs> that's right. It's a, it's a crapshoot. Um, but it's, it's interesting how many predictions we've made in the past that, that have become, not, not become true, but, are, but were true, that we nailed, that um became talking points and it's funny like you know we were looking back at that episode 59 the big things that happened in 2016 you know Batesville closed down a plant that probably wouldn't make news now big deal as long as I'm getting my caskets I don't really care uh Aurora moved uh manufacturing to Mexico Aurora is not Aurora anymore it's Aurora Matthews so not even the same company um cremation rate topped 50% for the first time <laughs> and D.O. McCombs funeral home, which was a prominent independent owned funeral home sold to SCI. Two things. I want to just make real quick points. Cremation rate topping 50%. Here, the interesting thing is we're still having the same conversations that we were having <laughs> in 2016 about I, how to serve cremation families, which absolutely blows my mind. Uh, you and I have been to how many conferences we started back again this year and somewhere on the agenda, how to talk to uh, cremation families, cre you know, how to help cremation families make decisions. You know, if, if you don't know that by now, this is bad. Uh, yeah. You know, part of what you just mentioned that we were talking about earlier also is with uh, Macomb selling. Yeah. I mean, goodness gracious, look at the, the last seven years, what's changed on that landscape. You know, just before the end of the year, you know, we saw one of the oldest, most prominent family firms in the country uh, up in Ohio, Schettinger. You know, yeah. they I don't believe that discussion would have ever been had yeah. six, seven years ago. Wow. But, you know, you and I talked about consolidation really at the very onset. And the only way that uh, I see survival in the future is consolidation. Mm -hmm. You know, I saw today Wilbert uh, acquired another local company or, or smaller company out there, and it's just growing. Um, yeah. We're the same way. You know, CNJ, I put on LinkedIn this week, we have a new product brand that we're launching, and uh, it's called Beneficiary Advance. And I put in that. I'm going to be the managing director, you know, helping launch that product that'll go into, you know, different spaces than, than the funeral space. And Lord have mercy. Everybody's like, why did you leave them? Nope. Nope. I'm still here. I'm not going away from CNJ. I still do my thing there. Um, CNJ still powers us here. At yes. I just now have what's called an additional duty. 
Uh, right. I don't wear hats, but I can have different hairstyles. So there you go. everybody calm down. All right. We, we got this thing done. Got, I, I can cross that off the list. Yeah. I had that on my list to, to ask you about your new role. So now we know C and J you're still C and J. C and J is C and J. I'm going to still be doing training and I'll be in the booth and uh, we're going to do our thing. We just have a new project that we're working on uh, for a, a different vertical uh, for our business. So, you know, you said it right just a moment ago. We just came through 2021. And if we roll back even a little further, you know, 2020, we thought was the craziest year. Yeah. Right. When we ended up there, it was like, oh my God, or 2020. Thank goodness that's over with. 21 is going to be a lot smooth. Nope. 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 And here we are in 22 that's starting out worse than those two years combined. Literally, wow. at this point in time where we are, as far as what's going on in our country with sickness, with Omicron, you know, I saw something new come up the other day, something flu that's in uh, France. But what's interesting today, note this, is that we're having a mass infection of people that are catching it, getting sick, but we're also not seeing a huge uptick in deaths. Mm -hmm. So right now that's holding steady. In three or four weeks, we may have a different news. But, you know, just hope and pray that this strain and people being vaccinated, we don't have more deaths. You know, even though we're in that uh, profession. Well, and I think if we learned anything over the last two years now, it's been that if you're not running your business with like a bobblehead where you're able to pivot and move and bounce and restrictions and guidelines and in person, not in person, like if you're not able to run your business with change being a guaranteed thing um, and your processes having to evolve and move and then, you know, I think I think that that is pushing a lot of some of the acquisitions too that we'll be seeing down the pipe. It's just people are burnt out from it. And, and there's so much rapid change and evolution that has to happen in business now, regardless of the profession that you're in that you got to be able to pivot and you got to be able to think like a business owner and actually run a business and you just can't wing it anymore. Yeah. You're not going to get the 125 calls you had last year and do, you know, 90% of the services at the local church. Things, things are different. Yeah. And you know, it's interesting. You and I are talking before we came on, we didn't even talk about that anymore. No. You know, um, I, I, I will say to the funeral nation, all of our people, professionals out here, that those folks, I believe, are in a, a minority now, a minority of, hey, I don't have a website or, hey, you know, we're, we're not doing that social media thing. Funny, in, in that uh, 2016 show, you're like, yeah, well, we're starting to see some movement, people embracing social media. Social media rules now. You yeah. know, you were like the you were like a prophet back then, man. You didn't even know. That's why you got so many tennis shoes behind you. You that's kept right. saying it and jumping around, right? And look at me saying tennis shoes. Is you think there's a change? Sneakers. Sneakers. Me. There he is. Sneakers. There he is. I'm saying tennis shoes. I'm old school. That's the way it goes. There. That's right. That's right. Well, I mean, I'm I'm excited for 2022. There's a lot of things happening in the business. There. Uh, conferences are coming back. You and I are both in Vegas next week for ICCFA Dead Talks. I'll be back in Vegas for the Cana Symposium in February. We'll be back in Vegas for ICCFA in March. Um, things are are moving forward, and we're functioning, and we're we're making things happen. This has been this is the best time to be a part of this profession. I, I fully believe the opportunities that exist here for for growth and acquisition and expansion all the way around vendor side, funeral home side, cremation side, like full scope. This is a massive opportunity year uh, to be a part of death care. It is. And, you know, we finished out the year, uh, our friends at uh, Anthem Partners, uh, Will and, and the guys there, they made a huge acquisition mm -hmm. in Tennessee. And that's what's going to be interesting this year is that we'll see, you know, SCIs and foundation partners and carriage has been a little quiet, but yep. anyway, but I think we're going to see those folks start rising to the top and it's going to be an acquisition market like crazy this year. I'll, yep. That's the only prediction I'll say that's not going to stop. That's right. And on the other, the other hand, I think we'll continue to see technology 
in our business. You know, technology used to be as having a computer in your arrangement room, right? And now we have people entering our space like a uh, good trust, you know, yeah. coming in completely not in our, and, you know, heard of two years ago. And now coming into the scene with end of life planning, all the digital stuff that's going on. And so it's exciting. We've got folks up in Washington, right? Uh, our friends that are doing, uh, lack of a better word, mulching. Yeah, right? com composting. Composting, <laughs> yeah. Uh, composting, which is exciting, right? And so who knows where we're going to go at the end of this year? But for us to sit here and think, hey, I believe this is going to happen. I'm done. I think we'll have more acquisitions, more technology, and we'll have people come up with some very fascinating ways to help our business grow. That's right. That's, not, that's all I got there. That's right. The prediction is growth. We're moving forward. We're evolving. There you go. Yeah. We're that's, not even going to make fun of the happen. folks that still have their marketing program on the diner uh, placemat, paper placemat, just whatever you guys Keep doing your thing. We got to move uh, on. We got big business. You know, I'm I'm still going to make fun of the people that have just a generic social media presence, though. That just think social media marketing and relationships can just be automated. I, I'm going to make fun of those people still because, man, if you think that you're doing social and you're you're gaining business because you're automating grief posts, hey, let's have some fun next week. Let's see fun. who has the biggest ad in Yellow Pages in the hotel we're staying. All right. There's oh that's so good. There's yes. We're gonna be in the same hotel. So first one to, to find it wins. Is You're there on. actually a phone book in the hotel? Still? I hope to not, I hope not, but I, it's Vegas. Anything's possible. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna to touch it though. So we'll that's we'll a whole different ballgame. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it's with the mask and the glove. Hey, we found you all. There we go. No, I'm not putting a mask on for anything. Forget that. Been there, done yeah. that. Yeah, that's it. All right. Well, so look, we have man. something that's going to change for us yes, too. Our, our format in the next couple of weeks, uh, we have an exciting new format. I think you're really going to enjoy. We're going to take Funeral Nation and uh, and twist a little bit on our mission. Our mission is going to be a little closer to uh, education. Yeah. And uh, taking a look at different facets of our business. We'll still have our commentary. We'll still have folks on here. Uh, we'll still make, be making announcements live that nobody else has in the past and introduce uh, superlatives. But I'm excited about this new format that we'll have with Funeral Nation. Yeah, we've got a responsibility to, to continue to meet the profession where it's at, but push it forward. And uh, I think this new format's absolutely going to do that. People can listen to us all day long because we're super entertaining, but we can inform and educate in the in the same wave and make it entertaining. Then we're we're absolutely going to win. Yeah. So let's wrap this up. Okay. The year starting out. You and I'll be together next week. I'm sure we'll come up with something fascinating besides the uh, phone book to see who's got the biggest ad. Uh, <laughs> right. It'll That's be interesting right. to see if the biggest ad commensurates with social media presence and uh, their website. We'll see. I, 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 don't know, I told you I did find a funeral home a couple of weeks ago that didn't have a website that I talked to. They are not a client. It's not going to work, but they didn't have a website. So there's still a few stragglers, but we're, look, we're making progress. 1% better each year. You know, we're, We'll get there. That's it. That's it. Right. It's not impersonal to use a computer anymore. So we got past that point. That's right. That's exactly right. All right, brother. Uh, man, I can't wait to see you. Even though we live 20 minutes apart, we have to go to Vegas to see each other. See you next week. Until next time, have a great effing week. Out here. Out here.